Swim Career and I'm a leading hand in city care waterways. I have a background in horticulture and I've also studied science at university. And I'm from Christchurch, New Zealand. My name is Robert Manuel. I'm a chef by profession. I run a small business, a restaurant and cafe, and also a director on this restaurant. My name is Chico Manuel. I'm doing a business, a restaurant business at the moment. I'm doing a, a manager and same time I a uh, director as well. And um, I have been here in New Zealand um, nearly uh, more than 30 years, but I was born in Japan. And I was studying in the Studying teacher in the Philippines. Ako po ay nagtatrabaho bilang diversal therapist and healthcare assistant. Ako po si Rolando De Sena, isang builder. Uh, my grandparents and my parents are very devoted Catholic. I'm very seldom to go to church. I only join my grandma in some uh, novena that they do all the time. Si kami po ay religious ng pamilya. Ang ginagawa ko po noon, pagkagaling po sa eskwela, dumadaan mo na ako sa, sa simbahan. Lahat ng mga santo doon, dinadasalan ko yung pinukunasan sa pagkakaalam pinong araw na yun talaga ang tunay. Uh, when I was in Japan, I, my family um, believe in traditional um, Buddhism and also the Shintoism. So, and then no, no, nothing related uh, with uh, um, Christianity. I was not religious at all. I had no religious background and did not believe in the Bible or even believe that God existed. Para sa akin po, ang reliyon ay ang makapagliligtas sa iyo sa araw ng paghuhukong para sa atin ay magsimba ka lamang ay sapat na yon para ikaw ay maligtas. Ang pagkakakilala ko po sa pag-aanib sa isang reliyon ay para mapalapit ka sa Panginoon Diyos. Uh, my major belief is that every human being is uh, looking for that to serve God. My major belief is that joining a religion was that people were weak-minded and had lost their grip on reality. That's why they joined churches. I heard about the Iglesia Ni Cristo when I'm in high school. One of my classmates, I find it that he's a son of a minister and uh, he always talked to me about the church and uh, at that time i'm not uh, i'm not really interested it was 1989 came here in new zealand um, i have no idea about um christianity or any religion about um relating christian so i don't know anything about i didn't know anything about um inc Masa sa aking mga naririnig, ang INC po or Iglesia ni Cristo ay isang kulto. Lagi yung sinasabi ng nanay ko, huwag ka maging iglesia. Kasi pagka bago matapos ang taon, magbibigay ka ng pera, lalagay mo sa sobre, bibigay mo sa kanila. Kaya yun ang iniisip ko sa atin mo. Hindi nga, tama si nanay, hindi ako maging iglesia. I had no prior knowledge of the church, so I didn't know anything about it. That's history, it's background, so I know prior knowledge. Ma, may mga nagpunta po sa amin na mga may tungkuling sa iglesia. Mababay ka naman po sila eh. At gagalang at iinvitaan lang naman kami na yung pwede rin makinig kami ng mga aral ng Diyos sa kanilang kapilya. Wala namang masama na sumama sa kanila. At ang sabi nga, makikinig, na, makikinig. Kaya sumama po kami. 
Uh, first time I was invited in the church uh, when I already uh, working at the Hyatt Hotel. I have a uh, co-worker who is a member of the church and uh, invite me twice. And I said, oh, I'm busy. I, maybe next time. He knows my day off. And then he asked me again, said, Robert, would you able to join me in the worship service? I'm attending tomorrow morning. Okay, I will. I will, uh, I will join in tomorrow. Ang invasion ni Cristo po ay na-introduce po sa akin ng aking asawa na si Ka, pa si Ka Art or si Ka Arturo. Nung nakarating po siya dito sa New Zealand year 2012, naanyayahan po sila sa mga pamamahayag at simula po noon ay lagi po na sa akin binabanggit ang tungkol sa iglesia. Nagagalit po ako sa kanya sa tuwing binabanggit niya sa akin ang iglesia. Ang totoo po ay Ayaw na ayaw po po talagang naririnig at ang sabi ko po sa kanya, kung diyan ang gusto mo, diyan ka at dito kami ng mga anak mo. Kung ano-ano ang mga pinapasok mo. Hanggang the decision po siya na magpabautismo na po sa iglesia. Doon po siya lalong naging masipri na ipakilala sa amin ang iglesia, pati po sa kanyang mga anak. Pinapaliwanag po niya sa amin ang tokol sa iglesia at ang sabi po niya ay hindi maaari na siya lamang po ang maligtas. I was invited um the church, it was more than 30 years ago. Um, he Uh, he and me, we work uh, at the same place, in the same workplace. Uh, that's how we meet in Auckland. I accepted his invitation because before that, he talked about a lot, lot of things about the church and church. So the, I was slowly, you know, interested in. And then one day, he finally um, invited me to the church to go with him and then Um, I have no hesitation to go to the church because I, that time I knew a little bit about church, so I was a little bit interested in all, what, what it is. I was first invited to the church way back in 1996. And when I first entered the place of, place of worship, I was surprised that the men and women were separated on each side of the uh, place of worship. I was also quite taken back by the solemnity of this worship service. We arrive in the chapel at exactly 5.30 in the morning. We're, we're a bit early. And looking at the chapel, I was a little bit, oh, this is nice. It looks gorgeous, I said. Namangka kami, talagang napakaganda. Ang liwanag sa loob, tahimik, bukod ang lalaki at babae. Talaga, iba, ang, ano, iba yung mararamdaman mo nung first time na sumama kami sa pamamahayag ng iglesia. Yeah, some of the things that I observed while attending the worship service was that the, everything was done in a proper and orderly fashion and that people were sincere in their worship to their God. And I was amazed on the solemnity of the whole place and when the choir members start to sing it fills the room and it's amazing when they pray at the first time i hear everybody's crying and i feel that as well that leads me to visit in the next worship service I can feel like a uh, ordinance or the the calmness that you know that's I and also the I really like the the hymn singing as well. Yeah. Everything 
is explained from the Bible. Nung nagsisimba kami, isimba ako, wala namang binabasa ang Biblia yung pare. Ano lang eh? Puro, puro sermon lang. Minsan natatapos lang yung isimba namin na ano eh. Sermon lang, wal, walang Biblia eh. Pero sa Iglesia ni Cristo, habang pag nagtanong yung ministro, binabasa sa Biblia, may pagkakataon, nagtatanang ako at meron kasi akong Biblia eh, talagang religyoso kami sa bahay. Tinitingnan ko, nakasunit eh, totoo. When I attended the, the next one, and I sit at the front, right in front of the minister who was preaching. And I write it all and then went home and read it in my Bible, the small Bible. And everything is true. So on that one, it's, uh, I, it's building up my interest. The Honda uh, minister uh, visited us and then um, he said to me, the believe uh, the Bible, but it was quite shocking for me to to listen because the, the, I've never uh, read the Bible before. And but the, the uh, compared to the old religion, it's more like a, a simple, like a, okay, you don't need to listen to other people's opinion, just the Bible. Uh, also, the the only uh, one called it's you know the, you, don't, the, you don't need to look at the other all different kind of gods. That's most the easy simple for me to understand. No mga nakapakinig po ako nun, tapos nasundan pa po yun eh, ng mga sa mga bahay-bahay bahay ng kapatid na pamamahayan, Bible study. Hanggang sa nakapakinig ako ng mga aral, yun hanggang nadaanan din yung ukol sa pag-aandong. Hindi pala totoo sinasabi ni nanay na pagka matatapos ang taon, pipilitan ka magbigay ng pera, so sobre mo pas. May iya ka magbigay ng wali kasi nakasobre. Hindi pala totoo yun. Nung nalaman ko sa, sa pamamagitan ng tinu- tinuturo ng ministro na binabasa naman sa Biblia, na yung pagkaandog pala, pas yan ang puso eh. Hindi sa pilitan. Na magsimula na po kami sa aming mga pagdadoktrina, doon lamang po namin nalaman na bawal palang sumamba sa mga Diyos-Diyosan. Doon din po namin nalaman na dati ay ang anam po naman ko ay magsimba ka lamang, okay na po. Maging mabuti kang tao, maliligtas ka. Subalit, kapakalaking kamalian po pala ng mga paniniwalang iyon. I decided to join the church and undergo Bible studies because there was a whole lot of coincidences that led me to know about the Church of Christ, see if God really exists. And this, the second lesson was about the existence of God. In, in my mind, that maybe the reason why I'm here because He wants me here to prove to me that. He does actually exist, he is real, and that was my turning point. That's why I decided to join the Church of Christ from that point. Ang naging turning point ko po ay, wala nung napakinggan ko po yung mga aral sa loob ng Iglesia ni Cristo na unawaan. Doon na po ako ng desisyon na maging Iglesia ni Cristo ako dahil na-realize ko patroon yung sinasabi ng ministro na nakasulat sa Biblia. Ang naging turning point ko po sa pag-anib sa Iglesia ni Cristo ay ang kaligtasan at ang bayang banal na noon lamang po namin lalaman. Na kung hindi ka maliligtas, hindi ka makararating sa bayang banal na inilalaan ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa kanyang mga hinirang. When I attend the, the worship service about Jesus Christ, that He is not God, I said to myself, oh, search more. So it takes me six months of worship service continuously. After the worship service, I wait for the minister to come out. I said, brother, I want to be a 
member of the church. And he said, yes, we'll start the Bible study today. It was really the, the best feeling in my life. Marami po akong nasa gupaw mga pag-uusig. Kami nga po ay mula sa angkan ng mga katoliko at kami lamang po ang mapapahiwalay kung sakali. Abang dinudoktrinaan pa lang eh. Pag-uwi ng bahay, nakasimangot nanay ko pa, parang laging gano'n eh. Malungkot. Siyempre, bilang anak, pagka nakikita mo nanay mo, parang masama ang loob sa'yo. Malungkot nanay mo, pa, kala niya hindi namin sa sinusunod. Eh, siyempre, malungkot din bilang anak. Um, uh, yun ang pagsubok eh, parang siyempre maghilang mo, dapat lagi mo sinusunod. Pero, napagtagod pa yan ko yun talaga. Sabi ko, masusundin ko ang una, ang Panginoon Diyos dahil siya nagbibigay sa atin ng buhay. Determinado po kami umalib sa Iglesia ni Kristo pagkat mahalaga sa akin ang kaligtasan ng aming buong sambahayan. Gaya po ng kung paano ang ama ng aming sambahayan ay nanindigan sapagkat alam namin na tunay at narito lamang ang kaligtasan sa loob po ng Iglesia ni Kristo. I encountered many trials and hindrances along the way especially from family members. Family members thought I was crazy, they thought I was nuts and joining the church, and they also thought that this church was a cult, and that I should stay away from it. Talagang nag-desisyon po ko na mag-iglose ako ni Cristo dahil na-realize ko na tama na mag-iglose ni Cristo ang tao dahil narito ang tunay na pagsambay. Narito ang tunay na, tunay na Diyos. Isa lang talaga ang tunay na Diyos na itinuturo sa Biblia. At ang Panginoong Isa Kristo, hindi siya Diyos kundi taong tagapangulitan at tagapagligtas. So my uh, parents, sisters are all Catholic. It's like I'm different from them. But I'm so blessed too because I belong to, I belong to a bigger family, a Church of Christ family. And... I strive hard to encourage my family and win them in the church. And I'm so happy that my mom, my father, and my sis two sisters joined the church. I got back to way back in 1996. On November 5, 1984, March 22, 1980, April 26, 2014, and 1994, uh, October, I was very happy. On the day of my baptism, I remember feeling great joy and happiness in my heart that I've finally got the chance to be saved and to be with God on the day of judgment. Simula po nang maging kaani po ako sa Iglesia ni Kristo, ay marami pong nabago sa aking sarili at ganun din po sa aking buong sambahayan. Natuto po akong magkaroon ng pansariling panalangin, ng panalangin pansambahayan, na natuto po akong naging mapagpasakop sa aking asawa. Ang naging pananaw ko ngayon, kailangan mo talagang sumamba, maglingkod sa Panginoon Diyos, tuparin ang mga utos niya. Yun ang naging malaking pagbabago sa buhay ko eh. Kaya yung ginagawa ngayong mga pagmimisyon, tumutulong ako dun. When I'm not a member yet in the church, that everything goes. But now, it's totally different. If I feel something challenging, I can ask for only one. I always ask God, God is there for me. Well, what has changed in my life is that since I've become a believer, I now spend all of my time in my activities and serving God and wanting to please Him rather than please myself. I've been uh, very happy um, 
not the material thing, but the, the happiness comes from my heart. The, to every time I go to serving God. Well, recently we just have a lockdown, and it affects, especially in the hospitality industry, lots of challenges, lots of losses, practically, financially, but. God's mercy is there for us. My joy and happiness is even though during this pandemic, I will be performing our duties and responsibility to God. We always pray to God. That's the secret, being a member of the church. God is a prayer away, and we use that privilege to draw near to Him and ask for any help. Well, um, I'm not worried about the pandemic, the situation, because uh, we pray and then the God is not give, giving us what we need. We are, are still healthy and we, we can still do the uh, business at the moment. Uh, we don't miss uh, any worship service at all. I'm very happy that uh, we still continue to doing our worship service and I, I really appreciate all the um, um, ministers and the administration they be guiding us all the time. Sa gitna po ng pandemya, hindi rin po tayo ligtas sa lahat ng mga suliranin at magabag sa buhay. Malayo po sa amin ang aming panganay na anak. Sa aming mga ganang sarili, wala po kaming magagawa para sa kanila. Na kundi po ang patuloy po kaming manangan sa magagawa ng Diyos sa amin. Since the pandemic that's spread around the world, I know that God has been there protecting us, especially in our family. Well, nothing bad has been following our family since the start of the pandemic. And since the worsening economic situation in the world, I still have a job, I still have my life and strength, and I still have my membership in the church. So I know that God is the one who's been protecting all of our family members. Sa ngayon, napakaraming mga taong halos nawawala ng pag-asa. Yung iba, hindi lang stress, talagang depression pa yung uh, nararanasan nila. Pero yung pagiging iglesia ni Kristo ko ngayon, napakalaga po dito. Lalo na pagka nakakasamba bilang iglesia ni Kristo. Sabi nga eh, bago ka sumamba, punong-puno ka ng problema. Pero pagkatapos mo sumamba, Punong puno ka naman ng pag-asa kasi pinalakas ka ng Panginoon Diyos. Ganon kaalaga yung pagka-iglesia ni Kristo ko po ngayon. I'd encourage all non-iglesia ni Kristo. Aming po mga mahal sa buhay, lalo yugit pa sa aming mga magulang. I would like to invite all, the, uh, all my friends, families, and workmates Sana, kapag may mga Iglesia ni Cristo nag-invite sa inyo na makinig sa loob ng Iglesia ni Cristo, sana wag po kayong magdadalawang isip. Magpaunlap po kayo sa aming mga pag-aanyaya, sa aming mga evangelical mission, through online. We have so many uh, media is available um, on website. So uh, please um, have a look. We have Coast Missions Magazines. Read all of the literature you can. Find how to serve the true God. And then um, we will invite you to, to go to the worship service. That's very important. Narito ang tunay na pagsamba, ang tunay na Diyos. Higit sa lahat, ang kaligtasan na matatangon ng tao. At kung doloobin po ng Ama, ay makasama rin po namin kayo sa tunay at tapat na paglilingkod sa Kanyang.